that was that was an intense storm. Um, this weekend has been absolutely a nightmare. Memories back to when you was a child, sleeping under starfield skies. It is my favorite time of day, it's whiskey time. We are on Rice Lake again. Let me show you. So there's our view that way. The wind's supposed to come from the south tonight, so we've got this blocking it. Out that way is the Atonaby River up to uh, Peterborough. We've got a uh, few people still fishing nice and quiet though and then behind me we have sort of swamp I guess I wouldn't really say swamp but you can see for yourself and we've got a well the Sun's trying to set it's a little bit cloudy nice breeze though took me about I don't know took me about 50 minutes to get here from Hastings so this apparently is the old original Autonomy River channel but out here as it gets into the lake it's a bit shallow so they constructed a new channel I'm told over there that just shoots you straight out so that was interesting to know I didn't know that but, but no this is where we are or where I am it's a solo trip again so yeah as you just as you enter the Autonomy River there's a little arm um, at a green marker that comes out into here and this is a marked anchorage on Navionics and uh, it's a nice little uh, anchorage on Rice Lake there's not many marked and this one you're pretty much well you are you're protected from every direction and because you're on the Otonabee River there's lots of fishing there's lots of fallen timber lots of uh, lily pads lots of changes uh, from really deep to shallow so uh, hopefully we uh, will I catch a few fish this weekend but yeah it's a beautiful night absolutely gorgeous spot cut myself a little uh, a little pike not a huge one by any stretch but any fish is a good fish what a beautiful night on the Otonabee River I'm going to leave you guys with this. I'm going to uh, head to bed. Good morning. I had a great night last night. One of my nicest sleeps uh, on the boat. Uh, we're so protected here um, off the Autonomy that it doesn't matter where the wind's coming from. Um, it doesn't really bother the boat. There's no fetch. Uh, so no, slept awesome. Uh, the holding here is really good, um, looks like mud, uh, no issues with dragging, none of that. The boat uh, swung around all different directions because the wind had changed throughout the night and uh, yeah, never had an issue with dragging because the, um, which is a bit of a concern here because it is sort of tight, um, you know, if you do drag you're going to be, you know, on the shore. but. Uh, Anyways, um, no, awesome night, just got in from some fishing, um, and yeah, I was fishing the fallen timber along the uh, river here, all I had was one bite, I had him on too, I had him on, I don't know how he gets off, it was a stick bait, three treble hooks, I don't know how you lose a fish um, off that. But yeah, that sucked, and it looks like it's getting worse as far as the news. Like, this weekend was supposed to be, when I planned it, this weekend the weather was supposed to be decent. Uh, just a slight, slight chance of rain, and it was supposed to be in the morning. Now it looks like there's a chance of thunderstorms all day. So, I don't know whether this is going to be a fishing weekend or not. Um, but, it was a uh, good night. Um, I'll try and see if I can get out fishing some more later. I'm going to uh, finish putting the camper top up so I'll be dry and get a coffee into me and some breakfast 
and uh, I guess we'll go from there, see what happens with this weather. Well, the bad weather finally showed up. It's raining. It's supposed to be a fishing weekend and there's the boat sitting there. I guess I could fish in the rain, but that can get pretty miserable. And the worst thing is, check this out. Of course, there's not anything on there right now. But I turned the fish finder on and there's like schools of fish swimming by the boat. So I'm trying to uh, fish off the boat, but they're not biting anything. So, uh, yeah. Oh, see, there's one. Here. There's a little fish right there. But, oh well. Oh, it's coming down now. Well, the rain let up, um, so that's good. So I'm back out fishing here, but the fish still aren't biting. Like, I don't know. This is like beautiful, beautiful fishing ground. Um, I'll show you what I'm looking at, but it's like each side of the river is got, you know, it's got overhanging trees. It's got fallen logs. Um, you know, it's got shallow water dropping to deeper water for the channel. I don't know. I'm throwing um, stick bait um, along the edges and then in under the uh, fallen trees and stuff I'm flipping uh, tubes and not even a bite but uh, hopefully it picks up. But here I'll show you what I'm looking at. See like all of this. You've got fallen trees uh, navigational marker that someone's not fixed but all of this is like prime bass water maybe that's the problem though maybe there's too much maybe there's too much cover I don't know but I'll uh, I'll keep working on it see if I can't catch a few fish finally Finally, the tube, the tube jig prevails. I finally get a bass. Nice large mouth, not huge, but better than being skunked. So uh, we got one on the board. Okay, now, now we got one with the stick bait. Hang on here. I really need someone to help me here. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right in the slop. Oh, shit. Okay, there he is. There is a fish. There he is. There's a fish in here. That's that's a similar size. That's a you know you could eat that. Here, let me get him out. Oh shit! Go to the back of the boat. Oh. Okay, so there's. There's bass number number two. So a stick bait and the tube. I guess persistence pays off, I guess is the lesson here. Those are some nice bass. Heading back to the mothership. Oh, I didn't think I was ever gonna catch a fish. So I popped two this afternoon. I think we'll take a break and then I'm going to go out after dinner maybe and see if I can't uh, pop a few more. Um, but look how quiet it is in here, how nice it is. And as I say that, a jet ski comes through. Oh, we got two of them. Oh. Yep. Waked by jet skiers. And they wonder why they've got a bad name on the water. So as I was saying, it's beautiful in here. Nice and flat when you don't have idiots racing by. Maybe time for a whiskey. Relax. That was good timing. I just got in and 
It's raining again. So that's all right though. Managed to squeeze some fishing in, catch some bass in between rainstorms. Life's pretty good. Guess I'll just mix a whiskey and watch the storm come in, I guess. Look at this. Can you guys even hear me over this? We got quite a uh, thunderstorm coming in. Time for a whiskey and enjoy it. Or sink. Jesus, this is coming down. Okay, that was that was an intense storm. Um, this weekend has been absolutely a nightmare for weather. Um, I checked the forecast all week. I checked it yesterday. Um, it was supposed to be good. Uh, there wasn't supposed to be any uh, thunderstorms or anything. And we got a thunderstorm. Uh, it came on hard. We had hail. Hail, uh, the camper top was getting so much rain it was leaking uh, and normally it's fine. Uh, I looked around and we were actually dragging which I thought was odd because the winds weren't that bad. Um, it might have simply been that we were blown in a different direction that I hadn't kind of witnessed before like this weekend but it seemed like we were very close to the, um, the other side over there. So I uh, pulled up the anchor, um, re-anchored in that storm, and I've got, you guys can probably hear it, maybe you can't, I got the, uh, the engines running, just in case. Um, that's the thing with boating, you can never be completely relaxed. Uh, it's better to kind of be ready for anything. And maybe I should have had more, uh, more road out, but, you know, again, the weather, the wind wasn't supposed to be strong. Um, and we hadn't dragged all night, and all day it was fine. So, uh, just, now, to be fair, too, those idiot jet skiers came through a couple times. I don't know whether their wake would have disrupted the anchor or not. Um... But anyways, whew, that was an intense storm. It's not over yet, but it does say on the weather uh, app that rain is supposed to uh, stop in about 40 minutes. And then it's not supposed to rain all night. The wind's going to go down to like one knot. So that I can live with. Um, but yeah, this, I wasn't really worried but you kind of need to be on guard, that's all. So you can't really enjoy yourself because you gotta be ready. Um, but I'm safe, there's no, there's no threat of sinking or beaching. Uh, worst case scenario, it's 15 minutes to Beaudley or I can go 50 minutes or 45 minutes uh, back to Hastings but I don't see any of that happening uh, the beauty with this spot is that it is very protected from fetch uh, and wind um, the only problem with this spot is it can be a little tight and if you do drag you know you are going to be on shore um, and you can't put out too much road because you'll swing on the shore. So you just gotta be aware. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm just watching this. Uh, as I said, the engines are running. Once it settles down, I'm gonna re-anchor for the night, make sure that uh, everything's perfect, and then I'll be mixing a whiskey, a double. So, all right, we'll see how this goes. What a crazy day. From one extreme to the other. Uh, there's the well-deserved whiskey. And then here is my view. It's a lot nicer than it was just a few hours ago. We're going to get a sunset here. 
The water is dead calm. Tried to do some fishing here in the evening, but it uh, didn't really work out so well. But the water's nice and flat. It's interesting though, like you watch and you pay attention, you see all kinds of cool stuff. I saw, um, what, I saw a few turtles um, when I was out fishing just now, and well, I don't know what it was, whether it was a mink or another otter in the water. Um, I didn't get a real good look at it, but uh, there's lots going on out here. I'm just glad that it's calmed down, and I'm going to enjoy this evening. Cheers. All right, I just got this. I got a fish on. He doesn't feel very big. He doesn't feel very big. I'm going to try and capture it here. I don't know how this is going to go. Oh. Oh. All right, you know what? I don't think you guys are going to see this until I get him in the boat. So just hang on a second here. Okay. Oh, there he is there. Not a... Not a huge guy. Let me get him out here. Let me get him out of the water first. Get him unhooked, and I'll show you. I'll show you him. There he is. There. Not a huge fish. Just a uh, small little largemouth. But it's fun to catch. You know, if you're not eating them, it's just nice to catch any fish, really. So a uh, nice, clean guy, and it's pretty c convenient to get him right off the boat too. So uh, makes it easy to have beers and uh, do some fishing. So. I'll throw him back, see if I can't get something a little bigger. Good morning. It was, uh, it's been a nice weekend. It's a really nice weekend. Uh, this is a really, really nice spot on um, the autonomy here. Um, final words on this spot. It, it's awesome. Um, what I found was really cool. Like, you're kind of in a marshy area, which people might think, oh, that's going to stink, or the bugs will be bad and it doesn't smell at all the uh bugs do come out about uh what is it about 9 30 9 45 they come out and when they come out they come out hungry and with a vengeance but you know until 9 30 9 45 there's not a bug around um it's been awesome not even any deer flies or horse flies or anything like that and what makes it so cool here sort of being in a marshy area is when things do quiet down <clears throat> you know there's blue herons I've seen so many painted turtles pop up in the water um, you're seeing fish jump uh, I think what is it th I've seen three I still don't know what they are whether they're mink otters or weasels but I've seen three of them which you never see um, what else Oh, ospreys, um, it's just, everything's here in the marsh. Uh, it's like alive. So that's been really cool. Um, again, fish jumping and the birds singing. It's just been uh, really, really nice. So definitely this is a great um, anchorage. Uh, the fishing, <clears throat> it's odd. You know, the fish are jumping. I didn't have a ton of luck fishing. Uh, I, I caught a few, um, but you know I would have liked to have caught more. Um, but it's it's a good good spot. The only downside is it's a little tight in here, which makes it good for protection from wind and fetch. But it's fairly deep in here, so it's like 15, 20 feet depth. So on a five to one scope you're putting out about what a hundred feet of uh of chain that doesn't give you a lot of swing room and then it also doesn't give you a lot of um room for error if you do drag um but other than when that thunderstorm ripped through here uh i haven't had a problem dragging at all so the holding is good but uh, i'll show you what i mean here like <laughs> <clears throat> so here's all right so there's <clears throat> your entry off the autonomy you come in through here and then here's a little back bay and the, the one problem is on my charts on my GPS 
it says it's like one foot in there. Um, so obviously you don't want to go in there. On Navionics, it says it is quite deep. So what do you do? So I went in there with the dinghy, and it is fairly deep back in there. But again, if you're anchoring in 15 feet of water, that doesn't give you a ton of swing room or a ton of um, a room for error if you drag. Um, so th that's the unique part here is, you know, it would be one thing if you're anchoring in, say, 5 feet of water, but it basically goes from... Um, 20, 15 feet, it shallows up on the edges fairly quickly. Now, <clears throat> where I am, I'm kind of on the channel, just off the channel, so you do have dickheads on their boats or jet skis ripping through here. Um, it's not that often though, um, but it's nice, like it's a nice spot where it gives you lots of room. And then down here, there, around that bend, it opens up again where you can put maybe two or three boats. So I haven't tried anchoring over there. Um, but yeah, that's the only sort of drawback here is you just have to... Um, so yeah, so that's the only uh, drawback here. It's just you have to position your boat sort of in the perfect spot. Uh, but once you're positioned there, uh, you're good to go. And, uh, you know, check the weather like everything else. Uh, we had, or uh, I had, what, winds as high as 10 knots. And, uh, you know, we didn't, uh, you know, we didn't move. So, uh, other than the thunderstorm. So, anyways, uh, that's uh, this spot on Navionics. I believe it's called the, De the Domino Cut. Um, I'm going to get packed up here and head back to Hastings. I got a friend uh, popping by, and we are going to, uh, I think we're going to hit some locks. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you like these videos, um, you know, make sure you like them. Make sure you uh, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of uh, any new videos. Um, maybe leave a comment uh, if you have uh, tried this Anchorage before. So, anyways, cheers.